In the following circuit diagram, we need to calculate the potential difference across the 5 ohm resistor. To calculate the potential difference, first we must know what is the current flowing in the circuit. So here is a battery of 3 volts and from the battery of 3 volts there is a current flowing out. This current is flowing through all the 3 resistances. The same current flows through all the 3 resistances, 3 ohms, 4 ohms and 5 ohms. So we can say the 3 resistances are connected in series. If they are connected in series, then the effective resistance R will be R1 plus R2 plus R3. So your R will be 3 ohms plus 4 ohms plus 5 ohms. So the total resistance R now will be 12 ohms. The next we apply Ohm's law in this circuit. And you know Ohm's law is V equal to IR. So the voltage we saw is 3 volts. The current we do not know, but the resistance in the circuit is 12. So the current I will be 3 over 12, and the current I will be 1 by 4 amperes. The next we have to find potential difference across 5 ohms. So this is my 5 ohms here. So resistance is 5 ohms. Now the current passing through these 5 ohms I have already calculated as 1 by 4 amperes. So 1 by 4 amperes. So for 5 ohms the current passing through this is 1 by 4 amperes. Again we use Ohm's law. So we do V equal to I into R. So V equal to your I we know is 1 by 4 and the resistance is 5 ohms. So the voltage is 5 by 4 volts, which means 1.25 volts. So the voltage across 5 ohms here will be 1.25 volts. So voltage or potential difference across 5 ohms equal to 1.25 volts. In the same manner, you could also find the potential difference across across 4 ohms and again for that you will apply the formula V equal to IR so V equal to you know it's the same current flowing through all the resistors so here also will be 1 by 4 but however here the resistance is we know 4 so the voltage across 4 ohms will be 1 volt you could also calculate the voltage across now 3 ohms. Again, use the formula V equal to IR. So V equal to, you know the I is 1 by 4. It is a constant current. Same current flows through all the resistors because they are connected in series. The resistance in this case is 3 here. So the voltage here is 3 by 4 volts. It was given to you to calculate the voltage of 5 ohms. But you could also calculate the voltage of the other three resistors. In the second circuit diagram, we've got to again calculate the effective resistance. Now if you see at this point, the current flows from two ohms and at this point here, it splits into two branches. One flowing through six ohms and the other flowing through three ohms. So the same current is not flowing through 6 ohms and 3 ohms. So we can say 6 and 3 are not connected in series. They are connected in parallel because different currents are flowing through 6 ohms and 3 ohms. If they are connected in parallel, we will use the formula 1 by R equal to 1 by 6 plus 1 by 3. So 1 by R equal to LCM is 6. So this is 1 plus 2. 1 by R equal to 3 by 6 which is 1 by 2 so the R equal to 2 ohms. Now will we draw, draw the circuit, uh, circuit again? So this was our 2 ohms here. Now instead of 6 and uh, 3 ohms I am going to draw a single resistance and this single resistance will be of 
two ohms because I have done my calculations I have see I have shown that this entire thing I've calculated and it came equal to two ohms so now here again we have two ohms same current passing through both the resistances so I could say two ohms and two ohms connected in series so if that so if two ohms and two ohms are connected in series the resistances R will be equal to R1 plus R2 the effective resistance which will be equal to 4 ohms so the resultant resistance of this entire circuit is 4 ohms calculate the total resistance the current through the circuit and the potential difference across 4 ohms and 20 ohms to connect uh, to calculate the total resistance we must see how the resistances are connected are they connected in series or parallel to answer these questions let us see the flow of current so the current begins to flow from the positive it then flows into the 4 ohms and the same current begins to flow in the 20 ohms so since since same current flows through both the resistances I can say 4 ohms 20 ohms connected in series and if they are connected in series I will say R equal to 4 plus 20 so resistance is 24 ohms so I've answered the first question the total resistance is 24 ohms my next thing is to find the current to the circuit to find current to the circuit that's my B question I use Ohm's law that is V equal to IR here the voltage I had not written it earlier but I need to write it now 6 volts so your V is 6 volts the resistance of this circuit we calculated is 24 ohms so we put V equal to IR and 6 equal to I into R is 24 and I is 6 over 24 so I comes by 1 by 4 amperes so this current flowing to the circuit is 1 by 4 amperes the entire current flowing to the circuit now for the for the resistance of 4 ohms I need to calculate the potential difference so for the for the 4 ohms the potential difference V I don't know but I know the current flowing through it is 1 by 4 amperes I've calculated it and of course the resistance of it is 4 ohms so I'll use the formula ohms law V equal to IR V I don't know I need to calculate your I was 1 fourth and the resistance here we know is 4 ohms so the voltage across 4 ohms will be 1 volt so the voltage across this point is 1 volt now to find the potential difference across 20 ohms the voltage potential difference we need to find the current we know is this is the current which is again 1 fourth ampere is the same current that flows through 20 ohms so current is 1 by 4 ampere the resistance however is 20 ohms then we use the formula V equal to IR V we do not know the I is 1 by 4 and your R is 20 so V equal to 5 volt so the voltage here across 20 ohm is 5 volt to go over this diagram again we saw that the current flowing to this was 1 by 4 ampere it was the same current that flows through both the resistances because the resistances are connected in series the total voltage potential difference of the battery was 6 volt and we also saw that across 4 ohms the potential difference was 1 volt 
and across 20 ohm it was 5 volts. Have you noticed something that 5 volts plus 1 volt equal to 6 volts? So in a series the V, the total V is equal to V1 plus V2. The 6 is equal to 1 plus 5. Two conductors A and B of resistance 5 ohms and 10 ohms respectively are first joined in parallel and then in series. In each case the voltage applied is 20 volts. Can I draw the circuit diagram to show the combination of these conductors. In which combination will the voltage across the conductors be same? In which arrangement will the current through A and B be the same? And calculate the equivalent resistance of each arrangement. So here we have two resistances, one is 5 ohms and one is 10 ohms. So we have a 5 ohm resistance and then we have a 10 ohm resistance. And they are connected in two different ways. First they are connected in parallel. So let us connect in parallel and answer all these questions. So this is a connection in parallel. We have 5 ohms and 10 ohms here connected to a 20 volt battery. So we have a 20 volt battery. We need to first draw the circuit diagram. So we have drawn the circuit diagram. Now here we see whatever current is coming out of the battery at this place it is going to split into two parts. Part of it will move through 5 ohms, another part will move to 10 ohms. So the current passing through 5 ohms and 10 ohms is not the same. So in this parallel current is different. Through 5 ohms and 10 ohms is different. So this is one point to be noted that the current flowing is different. At this point here it splits into two parts. Let's calculate the resistance. Now since it is in parallel the resistance will be 1 by R equal to 1 by 5 plus 1 by 10. So 1 by R will be 10 LCM 2 plus 1. So we have 1 by R equal to 3 by 10 and your R will be 10 by 3. So here effective resistance is 10 by 3. Voltage is 20 volts. So we want to know the current. We do V equal to IR. 20 equal to I. We don't know. The R is 10 by 3. So your I will be 20 into 3 over 10. And the current flowing here will be 6 amperes. So the current flowing in this circuit is 6 amperes. The series arrangement. So we have again 5 ohms and the 10 ohms. But now we are connecting them in series. Series means end to end. So we have 5 ohms and then we have 10 ohms here. Connected in series. So we were to complete the circuit diagram. Here's your battery. your key. We know this is 20 volts. Now to find the current flowing to this circuit we need to first find the resistance. Now here we see that they are connected 5 ohms and 10 ohms are connected in series. If they are connected in series we say R equal to R1 plus R2. So your R equal to 5 plus 10 R equal to 15 ohms and to find the potential uh, to find the current we do ohms law V equal to IR so V we know here 20 the I we have to find and the resistance we found is 15 so the current flowing here is 20 by 15 so current in this case is 1.33 amperes. Now remember the current, the same current will flow through both the resistors that is 1.33 amperes will flow through 5 ohms as well as through 
10 ohms. Let us now compare the series and parallel connection. In the first case, they're connected in parallel. 5 ohms and 10 ohms are connected in parallel. In the second case, the 5 ohms and 10 ohms are connected in series. Now, if you notice here, the potential difference across 5 ohms will be the potential difference across these points A and B. Now, the potential difference across A, B is 20 volts. This voltage here is 20. This also here is 20 volts. So potential difference across AB is 20 volts, which will be also potential difference across 5 ohms, will also be 20 volts. And the potential difference across 10 ohms will also be 20 volts because they are all connected to the same points A and B. All these three, the battery and the both the resistances are connected to the same points A and B. So the potential difference here remains the same. However, the current is not the same because the current here begins to flow. This current I flows comes here and then it splits into two branches. That is I1 and I2. Different current flows to 5 ohms and a different current flows to 10 ohms. But however, the I, the total I, will be equal to I1 plus I2. So in parallel, same potential difference but different current. Let's look up and see in the series. In the series, here we have a current flowing from the battery. And it's the same current that flows through 5 ohms. And the same current then flows through 10 ohms. So current is the same in 5 ohms and also in 10 ohms. However, the voltage won't be the same. If this is the voltage V1 here across 5 ohms and V2 is the voltage across 10 ohms, then we will find that V, the total voltage equal to V1 plus V2. So in series, the voltage changes. The voltage across the resistances change. But the current, same current flows through both. Let's go ahead and calculate the effective resistance in this circuit. Let's follow the path of the current. So the current is now flowing through 5 ohms. And then it starts flowing here. Now at this point, the current splits into two parts. I1 here and I2 in this branch. That means we can say that 10 ohms and 15 ohms are connected in parallel because different current flows through 10 ohms and 15 ohms. They are connected in parallel. And if they are connected in parallel, their total resistance 1 by R will be 1 by 10 plus 1 by 15. So 1 by R LCM here will be 30. So it will be 3 plus 2, 1 by R, 5 by 30, that is 1 by 6, so your R will be 6 ohms. So the effective resistance of this entire circuit here is equal to 6 ohms. So when I draw the figure again, here will be my 5 ohms. And now when I draw this effective, I'm going to put for this 6 ohms because I've calculated the effective resistance as 6 ohms. Now, 5 ohms and 6 ohms are connected in series. Why? It is the same current that is flowing through 5 ohms and the same current is flowing through 6 ohms. So I will say that 5 ohms and 6 ohms are connected in series. And if they are connected in series, the R equal to 5 plus 6 the total resistance equal to 11 ohms. To find the effective resistance in this circuit, let us examine 6 ohms and 
3 ohms. The same current that is passing through 6 ohms is now passing through 3 ohms. So I could say 6 ohms and 3 ohms are connected in series. So the total resistance of this will be 6 plus 3 and that is 9 ohms. Now for the next one, the 12 ohms and the 3 ohms are again connected also in series because the same current flows through 12 ohms and then the same one flows through 3 ohms. So I can say the 12 ohms and 3 ohms are connected also in series. So the resistance here will be 12 plus 3 that is 15 ohms. The circuit diagram I can draw again. Now this resistance is the resistance of 6 and 3 which I calculated already is 9. So this is 9 ohms and this would be now here the effective resistance of 12 and 3 and that is 15 ohms. Now how is 9 ohms and 15 ohms connected? Are they connected in series or in parallel? Let's look up at this. So at this point we find that the current flows from the battery here now it splits into two parts I1 here and I2 here so that means 9 ohms and their 6 12 uh, 15 ohms 9 and 15 are now connected you can say in parallel because the current same current is not flowing it is splitting into two parts so we have 1 by R equal to 1 by 9 plus 1 by 15 so 1 by R equals equal to LCM will take as 45 so uh, 9 into 5 so it will be 5 and this will be 3 so 1 by R equal to 8 over 45 and the R will be 45 by 8 ohms so the resultant of this entire circuit the resultant resistance equal to 45 by 8 ohms to go over it first we calculated these two as series and we put it out here 9 ohms then we calculated 12 and 3 also were in series and we wrote it here then we saw that 9 ohms and 15 ohms were in parallel and we carried on the calculations